Hello, this is Liz with Liz's Crafts. I'm just waiting for my notifications to come up so that um, everyone knows that I'm live before I start. And there we are. So I'm just going to turn this down. Okay, there we were. There we go. Okay, so when you bring it up on your phone, it's going to look like this. But if you turn it this way, then you'll get a better view of what we're doing on the table. So today we are taking one of my husband's t-shirts, which is a darker gray, and we're going to stencil on it. And uh, we have this stencil here. It's in the 8 by 11 section of Magnolia Design, and that's lizyonke.magnoliadesignco.com. And this one says, not today, Satan. So I thought this was a good t uh, design for his t-shirt. And uh, we don't have to fuzz it, even though these this is very sticky because we're putting it on material. And since it's on material, there's no need to fuzz it. So what we're going to do is take this uh, piece of cardboard. It, it's just um, a piece that came from uh, some 12 by 12 uh, uh, scrapbook sheets. So I'm just going to put it underneath here so that my um, ink doesn't go through to the other side of the t-shirt, the, the back of the t-shirt. Get in there. Sign up. Okay. So I've been told that um, to position a t-shirt properly or a stencil properly on a t-shirt, you want it to be like the side of your hand down. So I need to uh, slide this cardboard down just a little bit. And then I'm going to put my stencil on it. So I'm gonna just I'm just eyeballing this. Just to get it in the center of his t-shirt. And then I'm taking the backing off. And then I'm just gonna position this on the t-shirt. I'm just laying it on there and then I'm rubbing it down so that there's no bubbles or bumps. And then I have my bright white or brilliant white um, permanent ink and this squeegee right here and I'm going to use to uh, put my ink on the shirt. So I'm just going through the screen portion of the stencil, which is not the green part. So you want to kind of do this fast as the ink dries quickly. And I did put the links to the um, stencil and the ink in the description. And when I'm finished with this live, I will put it in the comments also. And for you guys that watch YouTube, I also um, put the links when I upload it to YouTube. So, if you do decide to order, please order from my links. I do get a little percentage, and I would appreciate your support. So, this is just a way you can turn an ordinary drab t-shirt into uh, something nicer. So, 
I just want to make sure that I get all the screen portion of my stencil. And I'm going to slowly peel this up and see if I missed any spots. So I'm going to do it in the corner. And then I'm going to pull it down from the center. Because if you keep pulling it from the corner, you could distort your stencil and get it out of shape. So this is looking really good. Oh, yes. I love this. This turned out really well. Now, you want to put your stencil face down in the water. Normally, though, you would take it straight to your sink, use your sponge, and clean that up. So that ink does not get in the uh, get in the screen part and clog it up. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So we took this drab, dark gray T-shirt and made it into something beautiful. So we you have to heat set this in order for it not to come off when you wash it and dry it. So the first thing I want to do, and normally you would wait a few hours and uh, for this to dry, but since this is live, I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. And I'm going to show you how to heat set it with your iron. Yes, dear, it is your t-shirt, but look, I made it something beautiful. It's not so grab and ugly anymore. So again, normally you would wait a couple hours for um, this to dry before you heat set it. But since this is alive, I'm just drying it with my heat gun. That seems to be pretty well dry. So I'm going, you would, you would do it on your ironing board if you have one, but if not, you can put it on a piece of material, fold it over several times. So what you need to do is get like a thin cloth and I just have this um, napkin that I'm using. And you put it over top of it. And then you have your um, iron set on the hottest setting, which is linen. And you do not want steam. So make sure your steam is off. And then you're just going to iron this over the napkin which is over your stencil your ink so you're just going to do this for several minutes and then that will allow you to wash it and dry it and that way then your ink will stay nice and neat on your shirt so what is Dave saying my t-shirts are not drab, they're that color, so it doesn't show dirt as easily, and I can wash it for three straight, oh, wear it for three straight, straight days, really? I don't think you wear it for three straight days, <laughs> but yeah, but now it's not so drab, don't you love it? So again, you're just going over what you just stenciled on the shirt with your iron on the highest setting, which is linen. And you want to do this for several minutes. And this just turns, like I said, an ordinary drab t-shirt into something really nice. 
and all you had to do was get a stencil and some ink and then you can do this on all your t-shirts so you don't have to go out and spend the money to get all these different t-shirts when you can just make your own we can make them for your kids or your grandkids as gifts uh, you can do this with any of the stencils on Magnolia and if you go to lizyonke.magnoliadesignco.com you can see all the different stencils however uh, instead of doing all you should go into the separate sections of um, the site so that you can see all the different stencils because sometimes if you go to all you don't see them all even though you would think you would it doesn't it doesn't happen so I think we're about done with this so this was just a very short live so uh, that you will see how to turn this shirt into something really nice so I'm going to turn my iron off and I lift this up and so here you have it. Not today, Satan. So I will be back here tomorrow and I will show you how to make some wooden candy corns. So I hope you will join me at 1130 Central so that I can show you how to make a candy corn out of a piece of wood. So, um, Oh, and I forgot to say, if you like this video, please do this with it. And uh, we call that sprinkle. So if you would sprinkle this onto your page and send it to your friends, I would appreciate it. And if you like and follow Liz's craft page, I would appreciate it also. And then uh, you will get notifications of when I go live if you uh, do your settings to get those notifications. So I will see you back here tomorrow for uh, candy corns, wooden candy corns. So until then, keep crafting. Look at these shirts.